What's up guys? Another YouTube video. I am going to absolutely crush these videos. A lot of knowledge for you guys. A lot of information. I'm finally back in my office space so we can get to this YouTube grind again. If you're here, you're going to make money and you're going to learn how to make money. So let's look at the screen. Let's get straight into it. Okay. First game I want you guys to see. These are five to 10 minute videos. I want you to see what I go through in my mind. So the first game that I'm going to have you guys look at is an example of when sharp money attacked and when public money came in. So for example, and, that's, and these are, you know, the goal is to beat the lines. It's not necessarily to, it's always to win, of course, but if you beat the lines, you'll, you'll win more often. Okay. So let's go here. Let's look at this game. NIU versus Central Michigan. Okay. Two small schools, a game that really nobody's looking at. So when you see NIU and Central Michigan, you think, Okay, like why why the hell do I give about this? Lo care about this. Let's talk about Kansas or let's talk about North Carolina or one of these big schools. Well, that's the way you would think, but look how much line movement is here. Okay? Ready? Look at the line currently. It's minus three and a half. You see it on my screen, you see it right there. Let's go here. Let's go to my let's go to spread. Look at this spread. Look how it opened up. So so as you see right here, it's minus three and a half, central Michigan. And this is right when the line came out. And these are like small little intervals. These aren't long. So this is like very short periods of time. Three and a half, three and a half. Jump to minus four quick. Then jumped again to minus four and a half. And this is early. So sharps like to get their money in early. They're not necessarily waiting back. They're getting their money in early and they are riding with it. Okay. So look, minus three and a half, minus three and a half, minus four, minus four and a half, minus five, minus five and a half. And then it's sat at minus five and a half. So sharps were done here. Sharps jumped on it. Boom, 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 boom. They were done. See how it consolidated? Right? It sat here for a while at five and a half. Sharps were done betting on it. But then the line moved down to five, five, four. This is when normal people came back in and started betting it. This is the sharp people. These are the people that are making a lot of the money. So I go back. I look at the game. So I already identified sharp money. Sharp money it was on. Central Michigan, minus three and a half. You can go ahead and say, oh, it's three and a half. Just take money line. That minus 175 is too high. Don't touch it. Okay. So then let's go look here. They're not showing money line right now. You can see the spread. You can see all this right here. Okay. Uh, let's go look at the previous games. And as you see, NIU has been playing absolutely garbage. You look at Central Michigan. They are on a hot streak. They did go in and beat Toledo as a seven and a half point favorite. They did go in and beat uh, Miami of Ohio, who's slumping. That doesn't matter. But they did go in and beat Western Michigan as an underdog outright. They did go in and beat Kent State by double digits as a seven point underdog. Right now, CMU is playing very tough. CMU is also six and two at home. Let's go look at the numbers. They're both in the same conference, so numbers, you know, matter here. Nothing I really see that I love there. Uh, head to head, do they play this year? No, they haven't played this year. I personally believe CMU. Let's go look. Well, I already looked at the player stats, and I like CMU here. So for the sake of this video, let's go Central Michigan basketball players. Actually, let's just go to ESPN.com. Let's go to ESPN.com. Let's go here. Uh, we go to college basketball. So schedule. Let's look up at soccer. Uh, NCA men. And this is what something I like to do. Schedule. And you can just go through everything. So as you see, we got that's yesterday. Let's look up today, which is Tuesday. Okay, as you see a lot of games. Let's find Central Michigan. Central Michigan right here. Click it. Okay. Statistics. And you can see the player stats. So as you see right here, three guys averaging double figures. They do have a rebounding presence right there in a guard, but they don't really have any forwards or anybody like that. So the way they can get beat is um, rebounding. So let's go here and let's see if Northern Illinois has rebounding. Okay. You can look at numbers, but I like to look at this. Rebounding, they don't have any rebound. I don't see them exploiting uh, uh, Central Michigan's weakness. So in this game, I do like Central Michigan minus three and a half. And I think that number actually, I mean, I think that's a pretty good number. I like that number because if it comes down to the end of the game and it comes to free throws, usually teams are still found within that three and a half. So I do like that. Okay. Uh, let's keep looking. Uh, no notifications. It's going to take a little bit because I just switched. So let's look at another game. So there I identify sharp money and I put my own mental thoughts into it. Okay. So let's go back. Let's look at another game I want to look at. Um... 
What do I really want to look at? Um, let's see, let's see. Let's look at let's look at this Marquette Villanova. Uh, let's look at this. Let's look at this game right here. Okay, you got a team in Illinois State who's seven point favorites. Okay, let's go seven point underdogs. So let's go here. Let's go spread. Let's look. They open so Illinois State open up at six and a half. Uh, this isn't really sharp money. This is just normal money. Uh, six and a half, six and a half. Stay there for a while. So no sharps on it. Jump to seven and a half. Bought back to seven, seven and a half. Now you can probably get it. You can get a seven and a half on some books. Uh, I actually like this game a lot, and here's why. Okay. So as you see right here, sixty-nine percent of the bets, eighty-four percent of the money, seven and a half. Some books they only have seven, so this will probably be seven, six and a half towards close. So you could possibly beat that line. If you look at Illinois State. If you look at Illinois State, uh, they beat Belmont. That's a good win. They beat uh, Missouri State. That's a good win. I know these are teams you guys don't realize. You don't realize. But look at Murray State. They lost as a favorite. Got blown out the other two games as underdogs. Those are good good losses though. Um, well, Murray State's pretty tough. But that's not where I'm worried about. I'm not worried about Murray State being at home. I'm not worried about none of the player stats right now. Here's really what I want you guys to see. Well, for the sake of this video, I'll show you player stats. Two guys out with double figures. No real good rebounders. Murray State has five guys that average double figures with some good rebounding. So everything leads towards Murray State here, which I understand why they're seven-point favorites. But let me show you guys something. If you go to the head-to-head... -head, actually, let's go to ESPN. Let's go to ESPN. Let me show you guys something. Let's, let me show you something. Let's go Murray State. Let's find Murray State. Okay, so go down Murray State right here. So if you click on Murray State and Illinois and Illinois State, go to their previous game. They played this year. So a lot of these teams play like because you know divisions. They played each other already. So let's go look at this game. It's, it was at Illinois State, so Illinois State automatically gets the edge there. Illinois State also won by four. Okay. Now let's go look at the box score. This is what I like to do. I like to look at the box score. I like to see who who really shot better. I mean. Murray State shot good. They basically shot even. Let's look at, I like to look at the um, turnovers. Uh, I can't really find, turnovers, nine to 10. So as we know, Illinois State can't play with them. I do like them to keep this game pretty close. I like the seven and a half. They already beat this team. Uh, Murray State isn't really blowing teams out. So let's go back. Let's go back and let's look at Murray State. And Murray State, even in their wins, like they did blow out Missouri State. They beat Evansville, UIC. Okay, so this was a nice little stretch here. But, like, look at this. And these aren't good teams. Like, these aren't good teams. Tennessee Tech only beat by six points. You know, these aren't the best of the teams. Now let's go to Illinois State. And let's look at Illinois State schedule. Okay. They beat a Belmont team, Missouri State. Got destroyed by Drake, which is cool. Valparaiso is good. Belmont. Like, they're keeping games somewhat respectable. Three point, like, okay, that's a blowout. Kentucky blowout, you expect that. But they're keeping games somewhat respectable. Northern Kentucky, Murray State, they beat them already. UIC, okay. They keep high point, very good team. They kept Long Beach State, good team. They're keeping games respectable. I think, personally, seven and a half is too many points. I think they could win this game outright. Okay. Uh, there was one more game I wanted to show you guys. It's going to take a quick second to load. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys are educating yourselves, seeing what I'm seeing, seeing what I'm looking at. Uh, there was one more game, and it, it was between Marquette and Villanova. Let me double check to make sure this was the game. Because I saw something earlier that I loved. Okay. Okay, this was it. So when you look at Marquette and Villanova, this is a key matchup. As you guys see, you might see a team that's uh, 15 and 5 versus an 11 and 9. I wonder why the heck is Villanova favored in this game. Well, let's go look at the numbers. Line open up Villanova minus one, minus one and a half, one and a half. No sharps jumped on it. It's one and a half. This is a game that they're staying away from. Uh, if you go look at the money percentage, the money percentage, sharp money. Look at this. 28% with 84% of the money. Sharp. That's like the sharpest money you can get. It is. But, you know, sometimes you don't go with sharp money, and here's why. Okay? So, let's go look at the player stats while we're on the screen. 
There you go. One, two, three, four guys averaging double figures. You got some rebounding in there. Villanova has three guys averaging double figures with some rebounding in there. Okay, so let's go back to our ESPN app. Let's go look at this game, and I'll tell you guys right now why I'm on Marquette. Pay attention, pay attention. Shoot, that went too far. Okay, I'll tell you why I'm on Marquette. So if you go to this Marquette game, you go to their schedule. Marquette. When Versine Hall won, and you also want to look at how teams play away if they're playing away. Like they went into St. John's one, DePaul is weak. They beat this Villanova team by 13. 13. Granted, it was at home, but 13. So look at this. Ready? Look at this box score. This will blow your mind. Look at this. Villanova, right here. Okay? They shot 42% from three. 14 threes. Okay, so if I show you these box scores, you'd be like, okay, this team up here blew them out. Because you figure when you get seven more threes, that's 21 more points. And you went to the free throw line more. Okay, let me see turnovers. Three turnovers to 12, that just tells a lot about your team. But look right here. They shot 58%, which means they were getting to the basket. So you can expect a team to continue this field goal percentage because these are close shots. These are good shots. These are high quality shots. They also almost shot 50%. Look at how much better they shot from three. Look at that. But look at the score. Marquette won by 13. They won by 13. So now you go and say, okay, well, why is Villanova favored? Whatever it may be. Let's go look at Villanova real quick. Okay. Let's look at their home record. They beat a Texas Tech team, destroyed them. Beat a North Carolina team. Beat a Memphis team. Excellent stretch of basketball here you probably won't see anywhere else. Beat a UCLA team at home. You know, beat a DePaul team. But as of lately, they're cold. Lost to Marquette team. Lost to UConn at home. Lost to St. John's by 20. Lost to Butler. But this is mainly, a, it's not a fade on Villanova because I know Villanova is pretty tough. I hope you guys still follow me. But look at Marquette. Like, look at them. Away. Let's check away. Okay. Look at Marquette. They're pretty tough. They're pretty tough. I don't care if they're home away. They still went and beat Kansas. Barely lost to Purdue. Uh, got beat by them. Beat Texas. You know, they're beating teams pretty good. Look at that. Creighton, Georgetown. Lost to Seton Hall. Okay. Beat St. John's. I just like, I like, I like Marquette here. When you beat a team by double digits and you come back the next game and you're only, you know, slight favorite, slight underdog. I'm taking you. So I hope you guys was informational for you guys. I hope you guys were able to understand a little bit more, able to see what I see. These I'm going to continue to do these and continue to, you know, post stuff like this. If you like this, give us a comment, give it a like, and I'll keep doing it. Let's eat.